Last night's provincial election served a crushing blow to the Ontario Liberals, who not only lost dozens of seats, they also lost their party status. With only seven ridings in hand, the Liberals are one seat short of meeting the criteria. According to one political strategist, strategist it'll be a long road ahead to get the party back to its glory days. How important is it to have official party status and what does it mean to have lost it? So official party status gives you profile and stature in the legislature. So you're part of the question period. It gives you stature and profile in the legislative process at committees. So you influence legislation. But the biggest reason is it's money. You get money for what's called the, your Liberal Caucus Service Bureau. And that allows you to hire staff, researchers, media relations people, local political organizers so you can get your campaigns in order and help in by-elections. We saw in 1999 the NDP negotiated that with the Conservatives. In 2003, the Liberals granted official party status quasi to the NDP, gave them some money, gave them official standing in the legislature. And so that's what whoever that interim leader is is going to have to go to Doug Ford and his House leader and try and cut a deal. What do you think the chances are for that? Uh, it's probable, and I'll tell you why. It's because the Conservatives do well when the NDP and Liberals split the vote. And so the Conservatives are going to look at the tea leaves and they're going to basically negotiate whatever they can. They're going to negotiate the best deal from the Liberals and get some concessions from them about the legislative agenda, but then ultimately give them that, I think, official party status because it's great for there to be tension on the left wing of the political spectrum. Where do the Liberals go from here? How do they rebuild after having lost so many seats? It's catastrophic for the Liberal Party, and really it's about the very survival of the party. There's going to be an awful lot of people, volunteers have to roll up their sleeves, and the key thing here is volunteers because there's no money in the party to pay people to do this and figure out a way to renew the party. They need to find a young, charismatic leader, someone in their 30s, young, or maybe early 40s. Someone who's already elected office, so someone's young, vibrant, excited, and renew the party because this is not going to be something you fix in six months or nine months. It's going to be a four or eight year process to try and get the party back to where you want it to be. What happens to Kathleen Wynne now? She won her seat, but she's given up the leadership. Where does she go from here? Well, you know, she said herself today, any seat's a good seat in the legislature, but really to read the, she sort of, you know, wrecked the party in certain ways and that she's left it in worse than when she got it. And so I think it's an obligation for her to stay as an MPP because again, we want to get from seven to eight seats. It helps in negotiating with the Conservatives to get that official party status. I think there's some yeoman service that she'll do in the next couple of years in terms of stick around as an MPP. She does like her constituent work, which is what she can do. And I think you'll see her resign probably two years from now when the party goes to that renewal process and when the party put the party is in better footing for it to support a by-election and still hold on to that seat and have a new candidate run in fact it might be whoever the next leader of the Ontario Liberal Party is could actually run in her seat and that riding could have back-to-back -back Liberal leaders and Premier designate Doug Ford was asked this morning if he will consider lowering the threshold to allow the Liberals to maintain party status he would not commit either way